hi guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be teaching you how to draft a princess that bust here with a v-neck and as you can see this v-neck also has a net in between the v-neck so in this in this video i drafted the front and the back bodies if this is something you want to learn how to draft just keep watching and you will enjoy this video welcome guys so the first thing i do is to measure half inch at the lower part and half inch at the upper part so in between is the length of is my half length from there to there is my arm hole length from there to there is my bust length yeah my bust length there and from there to there is my under bust length so at this bust length over here i'll go down by three quarter inches but before that let me just label so that's my arm or my bust my under bust and my waist so at the bust area the bust line i'll just go down by three quarter inches so i'll just rule a line so now i'll measure my shoulder measurements just to draw my arm or i'll measure my shoulder Measurement divided by two, measure it there, and at the arm all line, then I'll connect the point. So I'll connect the point like that. So then I will measure my boss measurement divided by four at the arm all line. Yeah, I'll just note it at that point there. Then I will measure the line that I've drawn out, which is eight, it's divided by two, four, and I'll go down by half inch that's four and a half then i'll connect the line just to draw my arm o so this is my initial arm o so the next thing to do is to measure my nipple to nipple measurement my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two which is three and a half then i'll mark it across that side then i'll just draw a straight line there So after that, I will go to my waist, my under bust area. I will take one quarter from this side here, the larger part, yeah, and I will take half inch from this smaller part. I will do the same for my waist area, one and quarter and half inch. This is depend. It depends on how bust you are. You can do more and you can do less depending on how bust you are. So I will just connect the point like that. So then from the three quarter we went down across the bust area i'll connect the line to that point and this other part here i'll use a curvy part of my french curve to connect it yeah so this is what i have then now the next thing to do is to connect that point down to my arm o area yeah you just have it depends on how how you want your princess that to be so you can use the four and uh, four and a half we measured at the arm all side for your guide or you can use whatever is convenient for you then i'll take in half inch at both side and then i'll be connecting the half inch to to my bust area so the half inch i'm taking at the both side towards this arm all side will serve as a kind of that for me at the princess that area So I'll also connect that like that. Yeah, so this is what I have. So the next thing I will do is just to measure my measurement across the side. So I'll measure my bust measurements at the bust line divided by four. Then I'll add my seam allowance. My seam allowance, which is one and a half. I'm using one and a half, so I'll add it. You can use one or less or more depending so now i'll just go to my waist measurement i don't measure at my under bust measurement because my under bust is the same thing as my waist so my i will take out the that i took out there which is like two, almost two inches and i will add my similar ones too so let me explain the waist area again you measure your waist you measure the the that allowance you took out at that point then you had your seam allowance too 
so the next thing i'm doing now is to draw out the main pattern the main line i'll be cutting out on my pattern paper so that i can know where and where i'll be cutting so now i'm just marking those side i've marked out at the part i'll be cutting away so now for this armhole area we can't cut it that way we have to extend it and by extending i'm adding two inches i'm adding one and a half you can do one or one and a half depending but i like to do one in case if it is too much i'll just trim it out so i'm using one and a half here but when i finish sewing and i noticed that i only needed one inches but it's better it is better for me to have excess that than for it not to be enough now i'm just trying to connect this area just to create a curve there though i'll still cut i'll still do this part very well because it is not looking nice so i'll still do it very well later so now i'm just trying to use the, use the marker to draw out that part because i'll be cutting that part so so i'm not adding anything at the upper part as you can see i only added to the curvy part that is the side i'm not adding anything to the mid middle so now it's time to, for me to draw my neckline i'm using three and a half i'm using three and a half here and the length i'm using eight inches why i'm using eight inches is because i wanted to add eight i wouldn't i wanted to add net there if you're not adding it you may not go this low or except the style you are sewing requires you to go this low so that's why i use it because i'll be adding it so the next kind of cover a little bit so now i've draw i've connect the line then i'll do my shoulder slope i'll measure one inch there and i'll connect the point to the point so now i'm just trying to use marker to draw the lines out also So now for the small line for the small net i'll be adding so i'll be drawing the line to here so for it i just went down by four inches then i'm drawing a curve around that four inches just a curve so i'll be using my marker to draw out that part So that is where the net will be so that is the pattern for the net it's always good to draft pattern so while drafting you can know where and where each one will be so this is the arm hole that i said earlier that i will i will still draw it out i'll still draw it very well so i'm going down i'm just going down because one this part here is just the same allowance so it will be inside it can't affect my measurements so it will be inside so that's why i'm just trying to cut it out just to have a good shape yeah because i don't like the shape as you can see that it is better now so now to draw to draft our back bodies i'll measure my back measurement i always reduce my back measurement by one inches yes i'll reduce it by one inches then i'll take out one inches like that that will serve as my zipper allowance and this line at the middle the line at the middle is my arm o line as i said earlier if my half length is 15 my back will be 14 i'll reduce it by one inches so i'll measure my shoulder measurement at that upper part and also at this arm hole part and this is just to draw my arm hole. so i measured my shoulder measurement divided by two at the upper part and at the arm hole side so now i'll be measuring my bust Any, anything you are measuring just make sure that you are measuring after the one inch zipper allowance for you not to make mistake you can just easily fold that part inside yeah for you not to make mistake so now i'm just drawing my arm all like that like the way i drew for the front so now i'll measure my bust measurement then i will add my seam allowance which is one and a half and i'll go down to my waist measurement yeah my waist divided by four i will add my dart allowance and my seam allowance that is one and a half and one inch that's two and a half that's i'm just taking the two and a half together you know my seam allowance is one inches and that allowance is one i'm using one for my dart allowance 
so now i'm just trying to draw out this arm all again as i said earlier it, it will not affect it because this part is the seam allowance part so it won't affect the going down of the arm will not affect it so now to draw my neckline you know we use three and a half for the front so we use three and a half for the back too then i later i use four inches for the back because you know the front is deep so the back cannot be deep so i just have to use four inches yes so this is what i have and i'm extending it down to the zipper allowance over there so now i'll do my shoulder slope then i'll connect i'll connect it to the neckline over there so let me just use my marker to draw out the pattern so that we can see it clearly So this is the back body. The back body is very easy. So for us to know where our dart will be, you take your shoulder to um your nipple to nipple measurement divided by two, then you add half inch to it. So that is four inches, and I'll go up by four inches to to the arm all line. So I'll just draw the straight line like that. Then I'll take half inch at this waistline. I'll take half inch at the both side, half inch here, half inch there. Then I'll connect it down to this point. So I'll connect it down to this point so i won't be cutting this that out i'll just be transferring it to my fabric later i won't be cutting it out so i'll just leave the dart like that but i'll transfer it to my fabric later so now this is my back bodies as you can see i'm just trying to label the zipper allowance ones over there and i see i folded it in so this is what i have so this is the front bodies yeah the front bodies this is how you cut it out and this is the back bodies so in my next video i'll be making this i'll be sewing it yeah as you can see i've cut out my fabric and my lining so and i've added my seam allowance to the parts where there's no seam allowance so at the lower part there's similar ones that's right no had any similar ones there so in my next video i'll be teaching you how to sew it and also how to make a style that i use this upper part to make if you haven't subscribed please subscribe now and click on the bell icon so that you can get notified when i drop the next video i'm talking about as you can see i've added my seam allowance to the parts where it needs so after sewing this is what it looks like as you can see it came out really nice it came out really nice yeah it came out really nice as you can see i said i have excess at this part so i'm just trying to trim it out you see it's better for it not to be enough than to have excess so the excess i'm just trying to trim it out so so that it will rhyme with it as you can see the bust area came out too well there's a space at the bust area so thank you so much for watching thank you so much for subscribing for liking for commenting for sharing and i will see you in my next video Bye.